You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamad Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received yesterday the President of the Arab Thought Forum, His Royal Highness Prince Al Hassan bin Talal, on the occasion of his visit to the kingdom. Also present at the reception was the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty welcomed His Royal Highness Prince Al Hassan bin Talal and praised the deep-rooted fraternal ties and the close historical relations that unite the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan and the prosperity and continuous growth witnessed through cooperation and joint bilateral work in all fields for the benefit of the two countries and their people. His Matsi also noted the interest of Prince Al Hassan bin Talal concerning intellectual, cultural, and literary issues and his activities that aim for elevating the level of Arab thought. Earlier, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and National Security Advisor, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the President of the Arab Thought Forum, His Royal Highness Prince Al Hassan bin Talal. Also present were Sheikh Neila bin Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the Governor of Muharraq Governorate, the Ambassador of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan to the Kingdom of Bahrain, as well as a number of recipients. Out of the patronage and the presence of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa Endurance Competition organized by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federations were held. The tournament was supported by Bobco, Bahrain Jewelry Center, Techno Gym, and Kuwait Finance House, in addition to sponsoring companies and institutions for the current season and the Bahrain International Endurance Village, with the participation of a wide range of stables and riders for a distance of 120 kilometers. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad affirmed that the outstanding levels witnessed in the stages of the races confirm the Bahraini endurance's progress, especially since the riders are raising their technical levels in the local championships. His Highness praised the sponsors and supporters of the championship, pointing out that their provision of this support confirms their keenness to contribute to the success of the endurance races and embodies their support for the youth and sports sectors. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated the winners in the private stables race and the international open race, indicating that the victory is the result of their great efforts in the race at all stages. His Highness also honored the sponsors and supporters, namely the Bahrain Petroleum Company, Bobco, the Bahrain Jewelry Center, Techno Gym, and Kuwait Finance House. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad crowned the champions of the international open race and the private stables race. In the international open race, the riders of the leaders' team, Asim Abdul Wahid, won the first place, and the rider Jabbar Bedr won the second from the leaders' team and the rider of the victorious team, Hamid Abdul Hamid Al Hashmi, won third place. As for the private stables race, the jockey, Mohamed Abdul Hamid Al Hashmi, from a Rafah stable, won the first place, and Mohamed Ibrahim Al Sabai from the RM stable, took the second place, and jockey Mahdi Radlet from Al Asayl stable, took third.
Under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the advisor to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and in the presence of a number of their Highnesses and Excellencies, the Grand Mosque of Her Highness Sheikh Hissa bin Ali bin Hamid Al Khalifa, wife of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, was inaugurated in Rafah in the Southern Governorate. Chairman of the Sunni Endowment Council, Sheikh Dr. Rashid Al Hajri, gave a speech in which he lauded the great care accorded by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to houses of worship given the active role of mosques in social growth and stability. He supplicated Allah Almighty to reward Sheikh Hassa bin Ali for building the mosque. The His Her Highness Sheikh Hassa bin Ali Al Khalifa Mosque has been built following the traditional Bahraini architecture with a capacity of 850 male worshippers. It also has another hall with a capacity of 150 female worshippers, public facilities and a car park. Ahmed bin Salman Lim Salam, the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, has stressed the importance of community partnership in supporting security and development. He described it as a national and civilizational responsibility that asserts the citizens' loyalty and patriotism. Marking the community partnership and belonging to the Na Nation Day, which is observed by Bahrain on March the 18th, the Speaker of the Council of Representatives urged to preserve national achievements and build on them. He praised a comprehensive development march led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa with the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives commended the efforts of Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Follow-up Committee for the Implementation of the National Plan to Promote the Spirit of Belonging to the Nation and reinforce the values of nationalism Bahrainuna, to promote the values of community partnership and belonging to the nation. He also praised the Minister's support to the implementation of the National Plan initiatives, which were put in place according to the Comprehensive Reform Program and Royal Vision. He hailed the role of the public and private sector institutions, the civil society organizations and the media in supporting and developing community partnerships. The chairman of the Shur Council, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, affirmed that the national initiatives to promote community partnership and motivate various groups and segments to society to participate positively in national action contribute to supporting efforts to enhance national identity and consolidate the values of loyalty and belonging. Marking the Community Partnership Day, al Saleh said that Bahrain is unique in the cohesion of the society, which makes distinguished contributions that translate the highest meanings and images of national belonging. He stressed that the programs and plans drawn up by the government constitute a basic pillar in inoculating the solid values and principles of national loyalty. As Saleh noted that the integration of official and civil efforts and the participation of various civil society organizations in formulating and implementing innovative and creative initiatives reflects keenness and interest in supporting the development process of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The chairman of the Jordan-based Arab Thought Forum, His Royal Highness Prince Al Hassan bin Talal, paid a visit today to the Economic Development Board headquarters at Bahrain Bay. On arrival, His Royal Highness Al Hassan bin Talal was received by Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and senior officials. The Deputy Prime Minister welcomed His Royal Highness Prince Al Hassan bin Talal and his accompanying delegation, stressing strong fraternal relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, thanks to the care and support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn al Hussein. The Deputy Prime Minister pointed out Bahrain's unwavering keenness on boosting cooperation with Jordan to serve the interests of both countries. His Royal Highness Prince Al Hassan bin Talal was briefed through a presentation by the Minister of Finance and National Economy about the work mechanism of the Bahraini government. He was also briefed about the Kingdom's economic performance, the economic recovery plan, and the measures taken to enhance economic development according to Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. His Royal Highness Prince Al Hassan bin Talal was also informed about the investment opportunities in the Kingdom and the role of EDB in promoting investments in vital sectors.
In the presence of the Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment and Vice President of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized yesterday the 26th race of the season, which was held on the STC Cups, the Bahrain Gold Cup, Al Malak Cup, and Al Rawda Cup at the club's race track in Al Rafah area in Sakhir. The race was also attended by a number of their Highnesses, representatives of the sponsoring agencies and horse racing enthusiasts. STC representatives crowned the winners of the race with STC Cups where Head of Strategy and Governance, Amran Aslam, presented the second round cup to winning jockey Alan Smith, while the Head of Business and Companies Department, Hisham Mustafa, presented the third round cup to the winning jockey, Gerald Moose. Then the CEO of STC Pay, Matin Zafrak, awarded the fourth round cup to Yusuf Zwayed. He also presented the fifth round cup to His Highness Sheikh Sultan Adin bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, while the Executive Vice President for Government Affairs, Sheikh Ziyad bin Faisal Al Khalifa, presented the sixth round cup to the winner, Alan Smith. He also presented Al Malik Cup for the seventh round to jockey Haider Ibrahim, and the Bahrain Golden Cup was presented to winning jockey Fauzi Nas, while the Executive Director of Operations Affairs at Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Yusuf Bahaji, presented the Arraw. The cup to the car caretaker of the Arabian horses at the Royal Stables, Lewis. The Kingdom of Bahrain won the membership of the Permanent Independent Commission for Human Rights of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation on behalf of the Arab Group during the elections held on the sidelines of the 49th session of the Council of Foreign Ministers of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation held in the Mauritanian capital, Nouakchott. Marking the occasion, Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani praised the concerted efforts to win the Kingdom of Bahrain's membership in the Commission for the first time, which reflects the confidence of the member states of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation in the prominent role played by the Kingdom in supporting the 
advancement of human rights and fundamental freedoms in the member states of the organization, in addition to safeguarding the basic rights of Muslim groups and societies in non-member states. This indicates confidence in the Kingdom's outstanding achievements in the field of promoting and protecting human rights through legislation and support for follow-up on its implementation and in its adoption of a pioneering national plan for human rights that is fully compatible with the goals of sustainable development. The newly restructured Bahrain National Commission for Childhood convened for its first meeting. Social Development Minister Osama bin Ahmed Khalaf al Asfur chaired the session, which focused on the committee's priorities and members' roles, development of the correctional justice law for, the, for children, and the protection from abuse, in addition to a number of topics, were also on the agenda. The minister stressed the government's keenness to advance and improve aspects of comprehensive care provided to children, highlighting efforts to achieve more national gains and achievements, ensure children's rights, and to create an appropriate and safe environment environment for them. The tourism minister, Fatma bin Tijafar al-Sarafi, has affirmed that the real estate projects are an important pillar of the kingdom's tourism promotion with the housing, investment and residence options they offer to everyone, including tourists and visitors, in addition to their distinguished facilities that enrich the experience of tourists and visitors and give them more entertainment option. The minister was speaking while receiving the chief executive officer of Nasij Real Estate Company, Amin Ahmed Larayid, with whom she discussed opportunities for joint cooperation and launching a number of joint initiatives in order to enhance the company's contributions to the tourism sector in Bahrain. She reiterated the support of the Ministry of Tourism and the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, the BTEA, for various partners as part of efforts to achieve the ambitious goals of the Tourism Strategy 2022-2026, as well as their interest in revitalizing the business tourism and conference sector, especially following the successful operation of Exhibition World Bahrain, which reflects positively on various sectors, including the real estate sector. Al-Arayad affirmed that each company's keenness to explore new opportunities with the government sector and build on the gains achieved thanks to the fruitful partnership between the public and private sectors, which is aligned with the company's vision of building integrated urban communities for future generations. Board Chairperson of Injaz Bahrain, Sheikh Hassa bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, opened the second edition of Injaz Bahrain Youth Festival in the presence of the Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan bint Najib Tawfiqi. The festival held at Water Garden City attracted more than 5,000 visitors over two successive days. The function aims to build a generation of young entrepreneurs capable of enrolling in the financial and business market. Sheikh Hassa bin Khalifa Al Khalifa said that the festival provides a platform for the youth to cast light on the capabilities and potentials of the future generation of Bahraini entrepreneurs to engage in a practical experience of market management. She affirmed that hosting the festival for the second time is part of a plan to empower Bahraini youth and prepare them for the labor market. The chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, president of the Union of Arab Chambers, Samir Abdullah Nas, participated in the coordination meetings of the Arab Swiss Chamber. The meetings were held yesterday in the Swiss capital, Geneva, on the sidelines of the meeting of the General Assembly of the Swiss Arab Chambers of Commerce and Industry, during which Nas stressed the importance of establishing advanced investment partnerships with the Swiss side in a way that serves the Arab economic interests and increases the volume of their trade exchanges. The president of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry referred to the keenness of His Majesty the King to enhance joint Arab cooperation in the economic fields to achieve economic integration that enhances the Arab international and regional standing. Nas added that the Arab economic openness is balanced with global economic entities in light of the boom in production and development in Arab resources. There is a need to overcome the challenges and repercussions caused by the repercussions in current global events, pointing out that the economic reforms and future strategic visions adopted by Arab governments contribute to creating real global partnerships and open the way for Arab markets to global investments. In line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to support the Syrian people in their humanitarian ordeal caused by the earthquake, a Bahraini medical team arrived in Syria to contribute to the treatment of those wounded as a result of the devastating earthquake that hit the country recently. Royal Humanitarian Foundation Secretary General and Chief Executive Officer of the National Committee for Supporting Earthquake Victims in Syria and Turkey, Dr. Mustafa Sayed said that based on the MOU, the Bahraini medical team specializing in treating fractures, injuries and general surgery arrived in Damascus and then headed to the affected government of Aleppo, where it will perform many surgeries for the injured victims of the earthquake. The Bahraini medical team will also visit a number of hospitals and medical centers in Syria to identify the most important medical needs and work to provide some of the necessary medical supplies that Syria needs at the present time, which will contribute to raising the efficiency of the medical services provided to those affected by the earthquake through donations from government and private hospitals in Bahrain. 
The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid Khalif al mana participated in the second high-level regional meeting of the World Health Organization on the health of refugees and immigrants in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt. al mana delivered a speech during one of the meeting sessions entitled Implementing the Health of Refugees and Immigrants, Best Practices from Member States. He noted that the Kingdom of Bahrain has a comprehensive health system that provides access to health services for all without discrimination as it covers general health services and primary, secondary and tertiary care. He also noted that the system focuses on preventative health measures and has made it a priority to ensure migrant workers have access to these health services. During his speech, Dr. Elmana stated that in response to the global spread of the corona pandemic COVID-19, the Kingdom has been keen to implement comprehensive policies and procedures to reduce the risks of disasters and health emergencies. Elmana indicated that the Kingdom has made great progress in strengthening migration health governance and evidence and data-based policy making. On the occasion of the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, the Sunni Endowments Department affirmed that all mosques receive care and attention throughout the year and this interest increases in the holy month so that all places of worship are ready to receive worshippers and ensure an appropriate atmosphere. The Sunni Endowment Department has developed an integrated plan for this occasion as the carpets of a number of mosques have been cleaned and replaced, comprehensive maintenance of air conditioning devices in mosques, improvement of internal and external sound systems and the addition and replacement of a number of loudspeakers. The administration has also developed a plan to avoid any malfunction or interruptions of electricity or sound that may occur during Taraweeh prayers and Friday prayers by allocating an emergency team for maintenance. The Labor Market Regulatory Authority conducted a joint inspection campaign in the Mahara Governorate on a number of shops and work sites. LMRA noted that a joint inspection campaign was conducted in coordination with the Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs and the Governorate's respective police directorate. These campaigns resulted in reporting violations related to the labor market and residency laws. The cases were referred for legal action. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi will meet to mark the end of a decade of estrangement between the two countries. This came during a joint press conference between Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Cavusoglu and his Egyptian counterpart Samah Shukri in Cairo, Egypt. Ankara says it wants to restore diplomatic relations between the two countries at the highest level. Kavas Oglo said the meeting between Erdogan and Sisi would take place after the Turkish elections, including the presidential vote slated for May the 14th. The Jam President for the Affairs of the Grand Mosque and the Prophet's Mosque, Sheikh Dr. Abdurrahman al-Sadeis, made an inspection tour of the Grand Mosque to see the preparations for the holy month of Ramadan. During the tour, al-Sadeis stressed the importance of facilitating efforts to serve the worshippers of the sacred mosque, including the Umrah pilgrims and those who perform in this holy month. <laughs> 